About 15 or 20 years ago, the computer lab at the school I worked in at the time looked something like this. And computer labs haven't really changed much over the years. One machine, one chair, one student. And they still come with the same constraints, such as coordinating when will be the best time in my schedule to go to the lab, remembering, of course, to reserve the lab, and of course, hoping desperately that everyone was present so that they could take advantage of whatever it was I had planned for them to do there. Now, instead of always having to rely on one room, we have the laptop cart, and we can roll it into the room when needed. Of course, we still have to book it, and now we have to hope that it was plugged in after the last time it was used so the laptops are charged, and we do still have to hope that our students are ready during the hour that we have it planned for our room. So basically, we've just recreated the computer lab in our classrooms. One machine, one chair, one student, but in a much less comfortable way. So let's go back to the laptop cart. I was once working with a teacher and his students. At the beginning of the activity, the teacher pointed to the cart in the corner of his room and announced, there's a laptop cart. If you need help, you can go and get one of the laptops. What do you think happened? Not one student went up to get a laptop. Now, the teacher figured that they just didn't need them. I wasn't as sure about that. I was still thinking about it later that evening and I thought to myself, you know what? I wouldn't have gone to get a laptop. They were offered as a crutch, if you need help, not as an important tool for when you need to do research. So even though the equipment was in the room, it still wasn't really accessible to the students. So what did I learn from that? Environment and intention matter. You cannot just roll a cart into a room and expect your students to be actively using the technology when it's needed. What if we started by asking the question, what do we want our students to do? For the most part, it's not that we want them to use technology. We want them to collaborate, to talk, to create, to do research. So how can we arrange our environment with intention so that these things happen? For example, with collaborating, what about if students are working in small groups and they're allowed to grab the technology that they need as they need it? in conjunction with all the other things they may need, like markers and pens for taking notes. If we want our students to talk with each other, let's look back again at that room of students where there was one student per computer. Is anyone really encouraged to collaborate and talk in that kind of a setup? What if we set it up so that there was one computer for a number of students, so that they could talk about a presentation they're watching together or whatever it is that they're working on? And if you want students to create, there's no way that they can do it sitting at their desk in front of the computer all squished in by themselves. Do we have the space in our rooms for students to get down on the floor to do an experiment? Or are we allowing students to leave our rooms to do something individual like recording some poetry? And what about for research? Are there areas in our rooms that are set up to encourage it? So when we're looking at our classroom environments and the equipment that we have available to us, asking the question, what do we want our students to do before we roll in the equipment cart? is essential so that we can make sure that the equipment we have to support student learning is accessible to our students.